Hello and welcome! This is Gremlins, and this is part 9 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. We're just finishing up Clanker's Cavern over here. And before we actually get into the lower section of Clanker's Cavern, we're gonna collect a couple things up here. Only one thing. Some notes. No, I don't want to go in there. Click the Jindo last video. Step very carefully. Now, if you jumped over here, you could have gotten to that area that I went in in a previous video. But if you stomp down here, get a honeycomb. It's all good. It's all good. And now that we're going to... Oh, uh... Crap. Uh, I need to get my bearings. Mm, hang on a second. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, we're back. I didn't see you there. Now, if you go to the left of Clanker's left eye and go down here, that's where I'd like to start. And you basically just work your way around the level. Our first victim is a Mumbo Token. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab some air real quick. I feel kind of like a surfer dude for saying that. But really, it's a good idea, especially if you're not really great at swimming, which I apparently am not. Though I haven't swam in years, I mean, that's... That's a thing. And I'm trying to cover up the fact that I am having trouble getting this jiggy, but... I, I don't think it really worked. Alright, let's grab some more air. Alright. Making sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. Alright, we're good. We're good to go. And you can see me demonstrating my making this section go faster technique. Thankfully, this is the only level where we really have to worry about large sections of water. There's another level that involves water, but we'll get into that when we get there. Now, we have Yoda... Snippet mutants. Which are basically more crabs. And, you know, I've gotten pretty good with crabs, so. Pretty good at beating them up by this point. Almost at 100 notes. Hopefully, we didn't miss any along the way. There we go. It's another crab down. I think there's like four or five. I mean, aside from being freaky. They're really not that much harder than any of the other ones, but you don't get an achievement for this in the Xbox version. You just get a jiggy, which is helpful still. Instead of collecting jiggy, I'm going to collect these notes like a spaz. And I, I always forget this. When you go to collect the jiggy, you have to actually start from the back, which seems kind of backwards. But that's how you do it! Ninth, there's only one more to go. We already have the gingos, we already have the notes, we already have the honeycombs. So it's really just more of a straight shot. Now I'm definitely grabbing some air for this. There's a reason why you do not want to be caught on unprotected or without air I don't know what protection has to do with this because I, I don't really think there's much of protection from drowning in these kinds of games I, I don't see any snorkels but anyway that's that's our last to give the level and we're going to very carefully make our way out or very quickly rather come on this part always makes me so nervous because it's like, you know the game's only get, like let you have like a couple seconds. Okay, we made it. Alright, now that we're done with all the backtracking malarkey. Believe me, it, it was like a minute. You didn't want to see it. I mean, if you want to simulate a minute of boring backtracking, you can always... I don't know. Pause the video, go make yourself a sandwich, and come back here. I mean, I'll wait. I mean, I'll be here. 
So anyway, if you go around this mine, because I do not want to demo being hit by the mine again, go down to this cavern we opened a couple videos ago. We enter this chamber of secrets. Wait, that's not it. Wrong thing. But if we go up here, as you can hear, the music's changed, which means we are likely about to unlock a new level. Oh, uh, let's listen to her first. Okay, lady, that's the worst excuse for not having stairs I've ever heard. Why don't you start install elevators? I mean, for crying out loud. All right, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, now that we're out of the Clanker's Cavern area, we are never going back there again. Spoiler alert. Regardless, let's... If you recall, anyway. If you recall, there was a thing that we unlocked, and here's a jiggy you unlocked from the special witch switch in Clanker's Cavern. Now, now we get to move to a new area, finally. And it's over here where there's this note door that we neglected. Heading up here, we have this note door, which, as you can read, has a modest 180 requirement. For those who aren't completionists like me. Now going to this area, the first thing you're going to see is a jiggy at the bottom of Gruntilda's statue thingy. You know, I, I know you're not blind, I'm just saying if you hadn't seen it. But going over to the right, go over here. There's another note door. We do have enough notes to get through it, but we don't want to do that yet. We want to go into the next level because the next level starts this whole new chain of events. I don't think we'll get to do a level this video, but whatever. If you recognize the music, yeah, we're entering the Bubble Gloop Swamp area. Let's see, and if you go over- Ah, Brentilda! Belly barging? Really? What? No, I'm not even gonna check if I got the three, because I already forgot how many I got. No! Just, no! No, that's... No! <laughs> also, no! Oh, uh, we can't use these until bottles teaches us. So anyway, you can't go in here. Because piranhas will bite you. So, I'm sorry. You know what? This is getting too awkward. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Pulling up balloons with her butt. Seriously, what, what is wrong with it? Anyway, I'll see you next time.